Dr. Tola, I'm extremely grateful to God to have you. you Not sir. just in Great House Mandate Church, but in the studio of YDI. Thank you, to sir. share your experiences, to share your knowledge, to share everything with the people of God. Like I was telling them in the church, that God has really blessed you. And you go, you, you're using the blessings of God to, to, to add value to lives. Mm -hmm. And I know God Almighty will yet bless you beyond measure. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You were talking about business secrets or secrets for business success. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell our viewers out there, people who were not in church to hear you? Oh, yeah. Uh, in, in a jiffy. Thank you, Pastor. Um, the secret for business success really is, number one of them is wisdom. Mm. I mentioned it in the church. And uh, what is killing a lot of people today in business is because they lack wisdom. They lack wisdom. You need to have wisdom to be successful in business. Because business is dynamic. It's moving forward. And then you need wisdom to know what to do at the right time, at the right moment. Mm. The wisdom is very key. Every of our covenant fathers who are successful in business, they exhibited wisdom. Yes. They get connected from heaven. Mm. So that's why that's I business to, from heaven. Yeah, no, oh, wisdom from not, heaven. Oh, okay. They Wis got connected from wisdom from heaven. Okay. That wisdom is what helped them to be successful in business. Okay. And any one of us today should that must be successful. We must be ready to be to to manifest wisdom. We must be ready to manifest wisdom. So we need wisdom. Number two, knowledge. We need knowledge. We need knowledge because knowledge is a, a, a knowledge, uh, wisdom is the spiritual thing. But mm. even after getting the wisdom, mm. get understanding. Mm. Okay? God is telling us that we need understanding of the times, okay. understanding of the situation. Mm. That understanding is the wisdom, is the knowledge. Mm. And we can get this uh, knowledge from books, mm. from reading other people's. Uh, sources and uh, whatever that um, you can lay your hand upon uh, to acquire more knowledge. Bible 2 is the book of knowledge. Yes. So we need all that knowledge. knowledge. Number That's 3 fun. I mentioned is good information. Yes, you said you right information. You must have information. Mm. You must be equipped with information. Today a lot of people, they are, they are getting junk information from their phones. Phones are made to add to you. It's not to take away from you. People should get connected to their phones and make and get right information for their businesses. Mm. Also, good communication. Mm. You must be able to communicate well. Mm. I mean, not I'm talking not the speaking English to somebody, mm. but in your organization, no matter how small that your business is, mm. there must be good communication. You you must understand your employers. Your employers must understand you. You must be able to pass information through. That's employing empl employer and the employee. And employee. They must be able to relate okay. very well. Understand okay. the goals and the objective. People must know why they are doing the business. Mm. So there must be that. There must be creativity. Mm -hmm. There must. You must be creative. You must uh, be able to invent. You must be able to you know to to to. To take and take. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, the issue of uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the, the farmers and herdsmen's saga okay. in Nigeria yeah. today. Both of them are doing business. Herdsmen, they take care of their cattle, yeah. and the farmers take care of their farm products and what have you. Now, there's always an age-long conflict that has not been resolved up to now. Yeah. To the point that as we talk to you now, headsmen are killing my people in Benway State. Wow. Mm. You tell me sorry. Is it stop? <laughs> <laughs> not really. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> sorry to all Nigerians. <laughs> not not all Nigerians, particularly to us. Because we, are the, one, unfortunate. we are the one facing the brunt it's, it's of, of the whole thing. Yes. But I can tell you, the flanny people or the flanny headsmen that are doing this, they are doing their own business. Mm. And their business is encroaching into the business of, uh, the, uh, of farmers. Mm. How do you think we're going to have success mm. you know, when we have such conflicts around? Mm. Uh, yes. There is no success when there are conflicts. Mm. No success can be bad. 
mm. where there are conflicts. Mm. Conflict doesn't bat success. Mm -mm. And until when this conflict is resolved, mm. Nigeria cannot go forward. Mm. We will just remain stagnant. I think what caused the whole issue is lack of wisdom on the part of leadership. On the part of leadership? Yes, lack of wisdom. Because the leadership should know that you see, business are supposed to be run without one affecting each other. Yes. And that is how you can get, come about growth. Mm. But unfortunately, some people, because of ignorance and because of wickedness, mm. they decided to encroach upon somebody's business mm. and destroy it mm. so that their own business can prosper. Mm. It's not possible. It's not possible. If, if they think they will prosper, God will not allow them to prosper. Mm. God, you don't, you don't destroy somebody's business mm. for your own business, mm. and you think you can prosper. Mm. And it is the time that God, government should stand up and do something about it before it destroy government. Mm. Because this issue can destroy government. Mm -hmm. It can and also destroy, destroy the, nation. the nation. So, but government must start. If government does not want this issue to destroy him or the nation, they must stand up and fix it. Mm. They have the capacity to fix it. Yes. They okay. don't have the, but they don't, they have the capacity to yeah. fix it. Yeah. But they don't have, they, they the don't have the willpower or to, the, to uh, yes, yes. To, to, to fix it. So, I, I look at it from that angle. Mm. Okay. I, I know you must have heard that Dino Malai yes. uh, uh, was arrested and the, the, the number of policemen that went to arrest him, there were over 150, I wow. learned. Wow. All of one them, person. one person, fully mm. armed. Mm. And this man did not have any ammo. Mm. He did not have any gun. Mm. So it's not a problem of capacity. Mm. It's a problem of political will mm. to bring about solution. Yeah. Because this same policeman that went, except they are afraid, this policeman that went after Dino to arrest him, you know, even in the hospital, mm. with all this number of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, men, you know, Mopol, mm. can they channel those swans to Benway? They say, you guys go to Benway. Bring everyone that is responsible for this. Yeah. That's why some people in my state now, in my state, Benue state now, our people believe that the federal government is a major sponsor, a collaborator of, a of the mm. uh, po pogrom that is going on. Mm. The killing, the annihilation, the, the agenda to slaughter, to kill people is a collaboration. Yeah. That's what they believe. Uh, and you don't doubt them. No, Do you yeah. doubt them? Yeah, I, I don't doubt them. I don't doubt them. I don't doubt them. I don't doubt them. Okay, some I was reading the other day. Somebody said that the effect of this will affect the food of the nation. Or the, sure. Because Benue State is the what? Food basket of, of the nation. Yeah. So Nigeria should be prepared for hunger. For, for farming. For farming. For farming. Yes, people will be hungry because the people who are producing, they are afraid to go to the farm. Mm. The same government is saying, let us, everybody go to the farm, everybody go to the farm, everybody go to the farm, produce. And then you can't produce. You can't produce. Because, because there is fear, there is yes. killing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think, what advice do you have for, for the president particularly? Well, um... I have this advice for the nation, not only for the president, mm -hmm. because the president is not the only person in authority. Mm -hmm. But we have, in this country, we are very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. We have people who are leaders, but they are deceiving us. Mm -hmm. they so they the are truth. not leaders. They, they are not leaders. They know the they truth, but leaders. they are not ready mm -hmm. to do the truth. My advice is that they should stand up be truthful mm. to man and to God mm. and fix this problem. Mm. Otherwise, mm. they will not escape the judgment of God, of God and of men. Mm. They, today, they may think that nobody can touch them, mm. but their children and their children's children mm. is prone mm. 
to the attack of God. Mm. Mm. So, because you cannot make somebody to cry, mm. and you think that joy will your be in your home. The Bible says, whatsoever a man sows, so that be. is what he shall reap. That's why from the president of the Senate, mm. to that head of the House of Representatives, to the president of Nigerian nation, mm. all of them are guilty mm. of this, mm. and they must fix it up. Otherwise, mm. God will judge them, mm. and they will not be able to escape it. Yeah. So my advice is for them, if they don't want God to judge them, they have to fix it up. So that their latter days mm. can be full of happiness. Now, the Bible says, concerning Abel, the Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Oh, yes. That means blood speaks. Yes. The blood of Abel was speaking revenge. Oh, yeah. When Cain killed Abel, he never knew that the blood was going to speak. Mm. Nobody was there when, yeah. he, when he killed um, uh, his brother Abel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But God said, the blood of your brother is crying to me. Oh, yes. So can you imagine the blood of these little ones that have been slaughtered in Benue State, mm. in Taraba, mm. in Bronu State? Virtually everywhere in Nigeria is facing it, only that Benue is having more of the, <laughs> attack. of the attacks. Yeah. You know, Taraba, mm. Kogi. Mm. Oh, okay, the other time they say that oh, the reason why uh, they are attacking is because of the anti greasing law established in Benue State. Mm. Now, Kogi State, for instance, never established that, that law. There was no law against greasing in Taraba, in Plateau, mm. in Zamfara, mm. and in Kogi. Mm. Now, these people went there, and they're busy killing people. They just have this heart to kill. Yeah. They are evil people They just want to kill. Okay, people are worshipping. That's the recent one now in Benue State. Yeah. Worshipping priests, in the, in the just church. worshipping. And the people came and started shooting. Mm. It's not in the farm before you say there was a conflict between the, the uh, headsmen and farmers. Mm. If it was in the farm, it's under, understandable. Uh, it's understandable. But this one is not in the farm. In the farm. People are worshipping God. Mm. And somebody go. Now, can you imagine other people too? You are worshipping your Allah. You are bowing down in the mosque. And somebody carry gun. Mm. This country will be on fire by now. I think we have to pray for Nigeria. Mm. Yeah. It shall be well with Nigeria. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.